welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna take you guys through my journey through IMAX and show you guys my swag. Let me just say I met so many great people. Everyone's just so cool and chill and I will relive it through my mind over and over again until next year of course. I will show you guys some of my favorites. You will see through my IMAD's journey of all the people that were there because it was insane. I waited at the Morphe line for two hours. Can you believe that? <sighs> for the love of Morphe. I, of course, I am guilty because I was one of them who waited on that line um, because the deals were so amazing. Keep on watching and I hope you guys find some favorites and I don't know I, I just I just hope you guys really feel the experience how I did or through my eyes so let's begin hey guys all right so today I'm getting ready to go to IMATS and I'm super 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 excited so if you guys didn't get to check it out I'm gonna record the whole experience for you guys I am not I don't know what to expect so let's go on this awesome makeup journey, shall we? <laughs> moisturizer it's like a two-in-one and I first of all I got a sample so this is a sample and I was like you know what since I got a few of them let me try them out I tried them out I still haven't opened these because I'm still going through them however this is like the fourth time that I've used it since and it is amazing I am known to have really sensitive skin so I was pretty skeptical but being that I tried it um, at the convention and I did get the samples, I was more sure and you know, it was just it was just great. I just love this so far and I did try it with like a really full caked on look and it lasted all day and my skin did not break out as it usually does. So, New Religion. I don't know how to pronounce it, so you guys are just gonna laugh. It's called Embryolost. Embryolost. Embryolist. Embryolist. Here you go. This is what it looks like. Let me 
get that focus right there and release and I have no shame in telling you guys how much I paid for it these were two for 40 usually one bottle or one I haven't even gotten to this uh, one oh one of these is about $60 okay the next thing that I got to snag were beauty blenders so in this cute little pink tote you get first of all you get a really it's like a scrunchy bracelet and it says beauty blender or pretty much you get three beauty blenders a pink one a purple and a black one you get a little mini beauty blender for under the eyes and then you get the cleaner this was $35 so I ran and I got me some all right I never bought lashes before in bulk so I bought all of these it may not look like much I bought like 15 of them and they were a dollar who is gonna pass up eyelashes for a dollar and what I really liked about these as you can see right here is that they are really natural looking and also the strip of when you apply it on the lashes is thin I know that I've seen some that are really really thick and it kind of makes it a little bit difficult when you're applying the lashes for it to look more natural so I got a whole bunch of these I got the full ones and then I got some of the half because I have lash stiletto and I love that mascara this one just allows me to you know enhance the ends so yes I snagged some lashes all right the next thing that i got which is actually the first line that i went on was lime crime and honestly the first 30 minutes when i got in there was a line i think i waited about 30 minutes on that line and i got two colors the first one that i got was wicked so i did do a whole bunch of swatches on my hand when i was over there but I haven't done anything with it on yet. I haven't I haven't worn it yet. So I'm excited to do a look with Wicked, especially because it goes with my Wicked Red hair. <laughs> the next color that I got was Buffy. And honestly, the reason the only reason why I got this color was because I wanted another lime crime color and I didn't know what to get. So the girl at the counter was like, you should get Buffy because it goes so great with your skin tone. And again, I swatched it, I liked it. So I can't wait to do a look and videos and I'm just excited. So in the lime crime bag, the I don't have it on me, it was a really cute bag. In the little bag that, you know, I got to take home, it came with this. So everyone got a lipstick in there and it, it said six anniversary so the good thing about it was that they picked either a neutral nude color or pink and this is what it looks like and I'm gonna swatch it just for you so you can see what that looks like here there it's like a peachy tone so I'm excited to see how it looks you know for the summer etc etc on my journey to the Morphe line. I made a few stops prior to the Morphe line because I was kind of afraid. Everyone was just saying, oh my gosh, that line is so long and I didn't believe them until I finally got on it. However, before I got to the Morphe line, I got to this, I think it was um, Friends Beauty, which they sell a lot of you know known products one of them being my Mary Luminizer. That's where I got the beauty blenders and then also a very well-known brightening powder the Ben I banana uh, luxury powder everyone was going crazy for it and being that I'm not really in tune with my I mean I, I hear the news here and there but it's not like I watch it every day or just go on the tabloids and check that out I have other things to worry about other than what celebrities are doing um, anywho so yeah, I heard that this is a really popular, uh, really popular powder because a celebrity wore it and her makeup artist actually revealed it. So everyone just went nuts over it. It was about $12 for this and 
being that it's so pigmented I use a little little tiny bit and it goes a long way the last thing I want to show you guys is what I snagged from the morphe line and that was these brushes and they were each like three and four dollars so I can understand why people were going nuts and I got some eyeshadows for my base I got one that was more gold and then I got a pink one because you know I can't discriminate I had to get both <laughs> and because I was going on a really serious shopping rampage so much that my card got declined because it was on some because you know it, it all these different vendors from all over and you know you swipe at one and it's like in Colorado you swipe at another one in LA so my I had to call my bank and have them lift the hold however in my Morphe conundrum I got these really big eyeshadow palettes one of them it's uh, one of them is 350 or 350 and 35 C so I did have the names before but let me just open it up here this one I got all these colors look at that right there and I'm so excited considering that I'm learning more about eyeshadows and just all these techniques and I'm just excited because I got like a universal palette with all these colors the other one that I got which is more close to home and since I don't really like to wear all this extravagant makeup I got a natural one I don't remember the name it's like natural 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 something but this is what this palette looks like and yeah I, I'm excited for this one because I can do some smoky eyes and just I just the ideas are just roaming through my mind it's going at a thousand I want to film all these videos today and it's like ah! I have I have X amount of time um, but yeah so stay tuned with all these looks like I said I'm super excited and then the last piece of my Morphe brand page was a contour kit yes! it's a creamy contour kit which I've never owned one because I am so obsessed with Anastasia Beverly Hills powder contour kit so I am open to different contour kits <laughs> this being one of them considering that I haven't had a cream contour kit so we'll see how that goes Naked Forever was there and I just had to restock on my favorite foundation I am also looking for a new foundation or a backup foundation you know sometimes I need I need something else so if you guys have any suggestions of other foundations I heard Milani was good but I haven't tried that one out yet so we'll see but if you guys if you guys have any other suggestions for me I am open to all ideas all suggestions all recommendations for foundation let me know let me know so I want to thank you guys so much for joining me through that IMAX journey and adventure and I had lots of fun. I am a little bit embarrassed as to how much I ended up spending but it's all for a greater cause and the greater good, greater good of my personal vanity, sanity. Just all for, the, all for my greater good, <laughs> uh, yeah all for my greater good. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I know that there's other conventions and other makeup events that go on, so if you guys know any of them, let me know. I'm in the New York Tri-State area, uh, New York, New Jersey, whatever, etc. blah, 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 blah. But thank you guys for watching. Also, I'm still on the road to 50 subscribers, so help a sister out. Share it. Tell your friends. Tell your sisters. Tell your cousins. Tell everyone. I'm here to send a message and that's for you to love yourself always, forever. At the end of the day, it starts and ends with you. You gotta be bold and brave. You gotta be bold and brave at the same time because if you're not gonna do it, who else is gonna do it? I know I can talk so much, but I, I promise, I promise, it's all for a good cause. <laughs> Until next time, I love you guys.
love you guys. I really, 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 really,